Okay, so a question that's been asked a lot lately is the difference between a PID, a standard PID, and then a PIDE, right? Well, the PIDE is, in it, is slightly advanced, but there's a, a couple key components I want to talk about here. Now, if you look at the standard PID, you have your standard tuning, right? You have your output, you have your bias, you have your, your uh, proportional gain, which is your KP, you have your integral gain, which is your KI, and you have your derivative, which is going to be your KD. Now, again, that is a way to obviously uh, tune and manually tune your stuff. Now, another one is uh, when you come down here, your PID equation, is it going to operate in independent or dependent? Is it going to, what, what controller are you going to use? You're going to use set point minus PV or PV minus set point. You're going to have the der derivative off of error or PV. And then you come in here and you have alarms, you have scaling. Uh, scaling naturally is just like it is, um, you know, basically when it comes down to it. But the key component is here, you don't have something called auto-tune, right? Now, you do have auto-tune in like 500, uh, but in 5000 or Studio 5000, you don't have the ability to auto-tune. Now, another key component here is if you look at the instruction help in the PID, um, you can currently see that it is not available in function block. Although it can be done in a structure text environment, right? So you can do it in ladder logic, ladder diagram, or function block, or not, not function block, but ladder diagram or structure text. So those are two key components you can do it in. And again, if you want to reference the difference between the two, you just go to instruction help and they'll easily tell you. Uh, generally, it talks about how to actually use these and special instructions, like if you wanted to do uh, different things with these, right? Again, uh, coming into the special instructions, but then let's look at the PIDE. Now the PIDE is not available in ladder diagram. However, it is available in function block and structure text. So function block and structure text is where you're going to use your PIDE. This also generally does come with a faceplate you can use with uh, your factory talk side edition or machine edition. Uh, but when it comes down to it, this shows you exactly how to do this. And it comes down to where if you want to scroll all the way down, uh, you get to more advanced systems where they talk about how to uh, how the algorithm works um, comes over here talks about your independent gain your dependent independent gain your dependent gain how to calculate them um, come over here and then you what I'm really trying to get into is showing you the examples they give you examples of a function block they give you examples of a structure text right here they give you examples of a function block using uh, basically like a cascade loop uh, they give you examples of, of uh, another function block. Example three, again, shows you a, a different app. But you, you have different examples that you can actually go off of when it comes into it. They, a lot more detail goes into the PIDE. Again, very functional, right? So let's actually look at the PIDE inside of, well, inside of the uh, Studio 5000 environment, right? So let's look at this. So you do have an auto tune here. So let's pop this open just like we do side by side let's pop these open why not okay so when it comes down to it you have your timing mode which is going to be a major difference right your timing mode um, does really uh, it's really impacted by your timing on and uh, using it in the PIDE uh, you can have a periodic which is going to be off your actual um, task task rate of however you have your task rate is it periodic um, I recommend it always be periodic if you're going to use a PIDE, but again, that's based upon how you want to use it. Your control action. Control action is the exact same. Um, talking about your control action here, is it going to be uh, set point versus PV? Is it going to be PV versus set point? You have your calculation points, right? Calculating, um, calculate using the proportional as error or PV. Derivative by error or PV. Again, similar things we talk about here, right? Very similar. Now, is your equation going to be an independent or a dependent? Again, independent or dependent. Same exact functions, right? But again, when it comes over here, you have things like, uh, you know, zero crossover, uh, program resets, overrides. Uh, then you have your proportional gain, which is, again, your um, same over here. 
for proportional gain is your KP, right? Your uh, uh, integral gain is your KI, and then your derivative is your KD, right? So this is all important in this. Now you have your engineering units. Now this is just like your scaling over here. So your scaling is just like your engineering units. You think about that just the same as that. So cascade loops, if you're using cascade, we are not using cascade in the example we're using. But again, this does have a variability of using cascade loops, whereof the standard PID does not. All right, when you come down to alarming, they both have alarming. They both have the ability to set alarms for them. This has uh, parameters, all a lot more parameters than anything else um, as far as when it comes down to what you can and can't use. Uh, there's a whole slew of stuff that you can do with the PIDE. When it comes down to it, you can enable you know, a lot of these things and uh, see the pins on the outside. When I say see the pins, you can see the pins on the outside of the block. Now, primarily, you're going to see the PIDE used inside of a function block, and you're not going to, I mean, you will see it sometimes inside of a structure text, but again, primarily used in function block. Your tag, this is going to be your tag name. Again, your tag will be your tag name. Uh, auto tune. This is where you auto tune inside of a PIDE. Again, the PID does not have an auto tune. You manually tune these. But again, the same tuning properties basically are the same as far as the, the way the calculations are done. You think about independent, dependent, and the way the things are done. You're going to tune these very similar. Um, not exactly the same, but again, highly, highly recommend um, if I, when you look at this that you, the PIDE, I highly recommend that being inside of uh, an actual, let me pull up my controller scope again, in the periodic task. See, I have this PIDE inside of a periodic task. So you see this? It's a periodic task of 47 milliseconds. And that's going to help me with my update rate based upon the time, the error of time and, and everything like that. So I wanted to give you a quick little video to show you the, the two instances side by side. What are the true major impacts? What are the true major components of a PIDE and a PID, right? And the PID over here, you see I have in a standard uh, continuous task. Works perfectly fine in this code. Again, I've shown this code on the internet before. I've showed this code um, many, many different times. I've actually, this is my pulse width modulation I, I built for a uh, add-on instruction using the PID inside of it. Um, so again, when it comes onto it, this is one instance over here. This is another instance over here. The PIDE has a lot more enhanced features. It has a lot, a lot more versatility to it. You can throw it in hand, auto, operation, um, meaning you can have it in auto mode. You can have it in operator mode. You can run it in, in, in operator mode and auto. Uh, again, when it comes down to it, there's a lot more you can do with a PIDE than you can do with a PID. Now, does that make it any better? It depends on your situation. It depends on what you prefer to use and how your situation is. Like if you plan on most processes, most really sophisticated processes use a PIDE. Now, some machines that are, have smaller processors or smaller processes, they're, they're going to use the PIDE or the PID, not the PIDE. Because basically when it boils down to it, you may not have that feature on your actual processor or you may not have the ability or need to even have some of the functions that are needed right you need the standard PID something very simple right so one is more of an enhanced version again it has a template it has a, a, a you know a, a faceplate that goes with your factory talk uh, HMI systems and the other one does not the other one is just a process you use and again still works very very well I'm not knocking either one of these I'm saying there's a different use case for both now I want to give you a basic uh, implementation and understanding behind this and again always right click and go to instruction help that's that's gonna do do you a, a slew of good going through this stuff and understanding what these can do right but the main implementation too if you really want to know one is a function block one and structure text the other one is a ladder and and uh, structure text and one has auto tune and one doesn't so when it comes down to it um and the way that the the things are done as far as the calculations and stuff so just just to kind of give you the base implementation 
and base understanding of the difference between the PIDE and the PID. Again, those are some really high level components that I, are very obvious. And I wanted to share that with you because again, a question keeps popping up. What are they? You know, what are the differences? So I wanted to give a high level example of the differences with neither one of these being online, but where you can see the inside of both of these by merely clicking the button, opening them up, and seeing the difference between the two. So with that said, hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that shared a lot of information. Again, your information helps drive this channel to be better and better and help give help, helps me give you better information. So the things you comment on and things you want to see, you know, comment them below and we'll, we'll try to uh, address those. So again, I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys on the next one.